Goal for Purdue, the redshirt freshman out of Indianapolis, 14 and 13 on the season. And Willie Scott for the Scarlet Knights, the redshirt freshman out of Brick Township. With five major decisions on the year, and he's 12 and 7 on the year. Yeah, and if you're Purdue right now at halftime, you know that 157 pound bat when Alex Griffin is gets his knee banged up and they pull him, which is the right call, and, and you know you want to keep him healthy for uh, the remainder of the season. You know, as long as nothing's too bad with his knee, but that's the right move and kind of puts the dual meet a little bit, a little bit away with uh, you know Nick Gravina still coming up at, at 184 and uh, Phil Bacuckus or, or Jordan Pagano at, at 74. So. Probably puts it a little too far away. Um, but the Boilermakers are tough at 97 and heavyweight, so anything can still happen. So 165, we start here in the first period. Again, Dylan Lighty for Purdue. And Willie Scott for the Scarlet Knights. And this is one that Purdue is going to have to have if they want to, like I said, continue to be in this match, Lou. They need to pick this one up. And actually, it looks like they... The, the screen here says uh, 174, but it's 165 here with Lighty uh, and Willie Scott. And Willie Scott here needs to get to his offense. And he's had a good, a pretty good, quiet season. Uh, coming into this year, Lou, you didn't really know who was going to take the 65-pound spot uh, for the Scarlet Knights. Obviously, with you know Anthony Parati, two-time All-American, uh, you know moving out last year and graduating, you don't really know who's going to come in and take the spot. And Willie Scott's done pretty a pretty nice job. Uh, quietly of stepping up and, and giving the Scarlet Knights a solid a solid guy there. Minute 45 left in the first period. Again, it looks like both wrestlers kind of just feeling each other out here early on. Yeah, nobody's committed to anything yet. and Both guys just kind of keep a good position here with a minute left here, just about in the first period. And there's an outside single. Doesn't get all the way around. Lighty doing a good job of keeping his hips back. Sprawls all the way back, gets his hips square, backs out of that. Inside a minute now left. Here in this opening period. You said Purdue's been wrestling well coming into this match. They had won three straight Big Ten Conference matchups. Great snatch single and just limp arms his arm right out. Gets the takedown. 28 seconds left in the first and sits... Willie Scott right to his hip. Good job there by Dylan Lighty. Trying to give Purdue a much needed win here midway through this dual match. Yeah, and that was a great takedown. Just he went he went like outside a single, but didn't didn't hit a knee, just snatched it up, was able to sit him right to his hip and get the takedown here. And the period's gonna end 2-0 with 30 seconds of riding time for Lighty. 2 nothing. Lighty on top as we go to period two. And right there you see Lighty just sits him right to his hip to get the takedown and a two-point lead. Willie Scott gives a little bit of a Granby roll there across his back, gets out, creates separation. That's the biggest thing on bottom is these, everybody is so good at this level that you need to create a little bit of space between your hips and their hips to give yourself just enough room to get away. And Willie Scott in on his own outside single, and he was all the way behind him in good position. Now he's now he's in a dogfight. He's got it picked up. That's good position with his head, but Lighty does a great job, breaks the grip, puts his foot to the mat, and Willie Scott's got to do a better job of finishing. That takedown was in great position to score, but Lighty with the great defense. Lighty's still in the lead. He's up two to one here. A minute ten left in the second.
Down to 45 seconds left. And really, it's been one takedown, and, and that's really been the the story here so far in this match. Is Lighty gets one takedown, sits him and finishes him right away, and has been defending really well and keeps a 2-1 lead with 35 seconds of riding time. And Willie Scott stepped right in, and Lighty, again, just with a snatch single, grabs it. Looked like he took like a half a penetration step, but just with his leg. And Lighty grabbed it, snatched him, sat him right to his hip again. Switches to a, a crotch lift. And sits him 50 seconds of riding time and a 4-1 lead going into the third. And right here you see Willie Stop steps, like almost like he wanted to step on his foot. And, and Lighty just snatches it, sits him right to his hip. So Dylan Lighty. Up by three points going into the third. Willie Scott's got to make some make some headway here. Down by three. And and this is you know if you're Willie Scott, this is the position you want to be in. He's really tough on top. He can score, and he has some really good wins. He has a ranked win uh, from Columbia over the 16th ranked wrestler in the country earlier this season, and he's really good on top. And and that's a place where you see him right there trying to roll through. He's got that wrist, but not able to get it tight enough. And he's looks like he's going to give up a reversal. And there it is. Now 6-1. And that's going to that's gonna be a little bit of trouble, especially with looks like there's a cradle locked up here for Lady, but Willie Scott breaks the grip and cuts him loose for 6-2. And Lou, what I was saying is Willie Scott's really tough on top. He just didn't have... The wrist tight enough when he tried to roll through, got a little anxious. So a takedown puts him right back in this because of his ability to score on top. Well, 50 seconds left. And a quick stalemate there in the under-over position. 35 seconds to go. Riding time's not a factor. Twenty-five seconds left. Half shot. There's Willie. Another great shot. Straight on single gets the corner. Gets the takedown. But Lighty sits in almost like a re-switch position. And they're still scrambling around out of bounds. Six seconds. Probably not going to be enough for Willie Scott to get a turn here. He's down six to four, but only 6.2 seconds left in the match. Let's see what he can come up with. Might be a little too late. And the clock will expire. So, Dylan Lighty gets a much needed win for the Boilermakers. Yeah, and, and a great job by Dylan Lighty. Defended his legs well the entire match, and Willie Scott couldn't get to his offense quick enough and until late in the third period. And now, Boilermakers 18-6. to 